Hi guys, so this is going to be a video about how I got my hair from black to red. It's kind of this crimson color. Um, I'm going to show you about all the products that I used first. And what I got is Ion Color Brilliance from Sally's. Now most of these products are from Sally's. Um, this one was $30. And then I got Salon Care 30 volume. This was like around $6. Um, I used that, and then I picked up some color care conditioner. I definitely needed that after I bleached the hell out of my hair from black. And then the three colors I picked up. I've never used these ones before, and I'm going to do a review on these. Um, color beyond the jam, the, beyond the bleh, beyond the zone color jams. This is Kamikaze, and I didn't use a lot of it because it's kind of a purple color. And then um, this is Crimson Storm, and then Candy Apple Bread, and then the other one that's uh, like I mixed all of them. Um, most of the top part here is uh, uh, Candy Apple Red from Special Effects, which has always been my favorite bright hair dye. And then um, what I was worried about when I was doing the coloring of the top part of my hair is that I wouldn't have enough product, so I got these. These were all cheap, these are $8 each just in case, and then I kind of mixed that with the special effects, so I had enough to cover all my hair. So in total, for all the products that I bought, um, the first purchase at Sally's was all the dyes and bleach, which came to about $65, plus I bought nail polish and the lipstick, but anyway. Um, and then my second one is the extensions, and then I went to Walmart to get some Moroccan oil, the color care uh, conditioner, and uh, two boxes of, um, I think it's Garnier Color, Bell Color in uh, Chestnut Brown. And the reason why I bought this is because this was a hair experiment and, um, I mean, I go to school and I work, so just in case it went wrong, I had, um, two backups of brown, like, black, brown hair dye just in case. But luckily I didn't have to use them and I have them for future use, so that's great. Um, I did have a hair disaster though on Monday when I was finished the bleaching um, because I started this process on Sunday and um, on Monday I forgot that once you bleach your hair you're not supposed to like you, you should condition your hair but when you're putting in veggie dyes that's kind of it kind of keeps them from coloring the hair and especially that I left this in for two hours so then um, I washed it out and all completely washed out and went orange and I had to go to work like that. But anyways, got home and I managed to fix it. But uh, it's always important to um, not do anything to hair after you bleach it. If you're using um, a veggie dye, it's it's better to condition your hair after you've dyed your hair. So for the process, um, going from black hair to um, dreadlocks, I actually There'll be a photo of when I had my dreadlocks, and I think you've seen a lot of previous videos that I have these huge black dreadlocks, and I had those, uh, those were extensions, those were a mix of real dreadlocks and then extensions, and I had those for about three months, so I had those since December, and the back of my hair really matted up, like there's two sections here where like five or six dreads were just became really best friends and like matted up. So the dreadlock process like, it was, took about an hour to cut, like, they were all sewed in, so it took an hour about to cut all the, the extensions out, but then the actual process of getting, um, the real dreadlocks out of my hair, because keep in mind, I had 62 dreadlocks and that, 62 extensions as well, so it was about a two or three hour process to get them out. I started that Sunday night, and then once that was done, I put in the bleach, was, which wasn't really good because my hair was pretty split in from like the dreadlocks because they've just been in there for so long. So what I did for the bleaching process was I mixed the 30 volume with something stuck on me with the Iron Brilliance powder and I only have about this much that's how much it took to bleach my hair. I got my hair to a brownish orangey color um, but I think you can tell that there's some darker spots that I did miss, and that's fine. Um, I can probably touch those up later. There's like a little slightly black patch there. It's not too bad, so. Um, and I left the bleach on for about 60 minutes, and then washed it out 
and then blow dried my hair. Had that little hair disaster, but later on, um, blow dried my hair, and then I left the special effects and the um, Beyond the Zone colors in overnight, and I washed it out in the morning, so I left it on for about seven hours, which with veggie dyes, that's your best bet. Um, your hair becomes a little bit crunchy, but like, like just because the, the veggie dye dries up, but it really, like, it works best for keeping from keeping it from washing it. So I did that, and then next process. So the next process was getting the extensions in, and the first day I did clips because I had school and I didn't have time to um, do the weave. So the next, when I got back home, I did the weave, and what I did basically, I've done a weave before, and that was for my first mock dreadlocks. And I've been watching a lot of videos, so I've gotten a lot better at it. So, how well are we going to see? It gets there. Here's a little bit messier now. So, what I did is I just made a braid here and here. And then I used the little black uh, elastics just to secure them. And then I sewed the, the braids together. This one's a little bit loose here. It should be more up here. But, um, and then I took the extension and I basically sewed them into the braid right there. And then I did uh, one big one here where there's one, one, two, three chunks of the extensions there. I just sewed the wefts onto the braid. And um, one of the issues is that I have side cuts that are growing in. So this hair here this here and it's very hard to um, cover so what I did I worry it oh. so here's one of them and what I did is I made a braid going down this way and then I had one going this way so they kind of crisscross right there but I'm able to sew it on like that and um, to make it blend, it's a little bit difficult because my hair is like this short. There's little chunks there. And my hair is very layered because I've had a lot of damage in it. So some parts are like really short, like you see here. So what I do is make it really curly just to blend it in, look at more, more natural, I find. Because um, I find when hair extensions are straight and you have very naturally thick, wavy hair, um, even if you straighten it, it just it doesn't seem to be natural. Some girls are able to pull it off. Um, usually, if they have very thin, thin straight hair, um, if they get thin um, straight extensions, then it just works. But um, for me, it's really hard to blend them in. So yeah, I just curl the the bottom with a straightening iron. Straightener, straightener. Yeah, these are a bit loose. So had a long day of homework, but uh, it's a little bit messy at the back. And um, when I put it up in a ponytail, because I left my little hairs here, I'm able to just clip that up and it should cover the weft. And then if I wear it up like this, I just take a bandana because I like wearing headbands and stuff because I always wear my hair up when I work. And I just wrap it around so you won't be able to see this part. So, and that is how, okay, messy hair. That is how I got my hair, this color and the style. And um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. I have a ton of videos from um, other times I've dyed my hair red. I have had this candy apple red before. I believe there's another video with me in it. Um, I have videos about how I did the mock dread, so that's all going to be linked below. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or, like, uh, prices about certain things, um, let me know. Thank you. Bye.